everyone, it's Mrs. Walsh from Mr. Hillier's classroom. How's it going? I know you guys are learning to find your way around the kitchen and how to cook. So today I'm going to show you how to make everyone's favorite food, pizza. So let's review our food preparation steps. The first one is going to be wash our hands before cooking with food. We wash our hands with soap and water. We're going to find our recipe. We're going to read the recipe directions. We're going to get the food items that we need for our recipe, what appliances we'll need in the kitchen to cook it, what cooking tools we're going to need to make it. We're going to have to time it to make sure that uh, we've cooked it for the right amount of time. So we're going to use a timer to estimate the preparation times. And then we're going to estimate the serving sizes in portion, how many people we're going to feed. Okay, so step one, we're going to wash our hands with soap and water. Very important to start off with clean hands when you're working with food. Our second step is to find our recipe. Today we're going to make pizza a very simple, easy way. I'm going to go to my pantry. I'm going to get out my pizza shell already made. All I have to do is prepare it and cook it. So our recipe is going to be the recipe that I follow on the back of the package. So let's read the directions. It says remove pizza crust from wrapper, top with your favorite ingredients, bake on a baking sheet. So for pizza we're going to need sauce. So one of the food items in step four that we're going to need is pizza sauce. We're going to need some cheese because everyone likes cheese on their pizza. And I'm going to use pepperoni as well. So we're going to make a cheese and pepperoni pizza. So these are going to be our ingredients for step four. What appliances do you think you're going to need to cook a pizza? We need the oven. Here's our oven. We follow our recipe on the back of the package. It tells us what temperature to heat our oven and it says 450. So we're gonna bake for 450. That's gonna start getting warm. By the time I'm ready to put the pizza in the oven, it should be nice and hot. What cooking tools do I need? Well, it tells me here that I need a baking sheet. So let's get a Baking sheet would be a pizza pan. And what tools am I going to need? Well, the pizza sauce comes in a package and I'm going to need to spread it. So a spoon works nice for that. Okay, and let's open up our package. our crust. Here's our sauce. I'm not strong enough to tear so I'll use scissors but you're probably strong enough that you could rip it yourself with your hands. We're going to spread the sauce on the crust. Just squeeze it all out of the package. Take the back of our spoon, smooth out the sauce. Just like that. Put our toppings on. You can put any topping that you like on your pizza. We're going to use pepperoni. You 
can put as much on or as little on that you like. Since it's the only meat topping, I like to fill the whole thing with pepperoni. Just like that. And then we're going to top it off with some cheese. much cheese as you like. It's all done. It's now ready to be put in the oven. It says to estimate the preparation time to cook. On the package it tells you 8 to 10 minutes. I find that 10 minutes works really well. This pizza cut in half and then in half again would serve four people. Um, you could probably serve as many as five people. It says there's about five servings per person for this pizza. So when the oven's ready, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the pizza and put it in the oven just like that. Set my timer for 10, minutes and let it cook. When it's done, we've got pizza for dinner. Thank you.